It's like, uh, I don't know, one, maybe two o'clock in the morning by now. A day after my grandson's birthday. And um, I'm tired. <laughs> so, uh, I was like, uh, Uh, two nights if work outing last night and the night before so it was the night before I started getting these calls and text messages from my daughter to, you know saying come and get me come and get me and it's like um, I just I couldn't come and get her I'm tired okay and, you know, there's always a question in my mind. If I go to get her, is there a valid reason why I'm going to go get her? Waste my time, waste my gas money, whatever. Because I can't tell you the number of times that I have gone to get her. And she's just MIA not responding to phone calls or text messages after she asked me to come and get her. Or if I tried to get her to schedule time with me for, like, do you want to do breakfast together? Do you want, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, come and get me. And then I go and get her, and she's MIA. And then she doesn't answer the phone. So, anyways... So now that we're in mourning, last night, I go, I go in there to get her. And um, she's just all confrontational with me. And I understand that she's frustrated because I'm frustrated. I understand that she's in a bad situation because I'm in a bad situation. Um, you know, I understand that how she feels because we ne we were never supposed to end up in the situations that we're in, and it was all orchestrated by groups of people that intentionally put us in harm's way. And, you know, we see that stuff. You know, the Ku Klux Klanners with their day planners, okay? Um, you know, you know we're, we're aware of it all. And um, so she's all confrontational with me, and I can't deal with it. You know, I just drove all this way. I'm tired, and she doesn't have a place to stay. But, you know, you're not going to scream at me all night long, so I can't sleep because whatever happened in your world and I wasn't there to witness whatever happened. And so she makes this comment that um, her grandmother, Valerie Truax, Jeff's mother, would help her if she stopped talking to me. And I said, so stop talking to me. I don't have any money to help you. And I do the best that I can to help you. But, you know, if that's your ride and you, you know, she's got money to give you and that's her stipulation, then stop, fucking stop talking to me. And, um, anyways, we get into this big argument and I, I can't do it. You know, I, I avoid shit like that. So I have to drop her off because she won't cut it out. And so, you know, who, wherever she is tonight, and she's made it through all these other nights, just like, I'm making it. I'm making it on the streets. You're going to have to make it on the streets, Amanda. You're going to just have to fucking make it on the streets. 
you know, I'm doing it. You got to fucking do it too. Is this where we were supposed to be in life? Fuck no. It's where they put us. And you can't stop them because there's nobody out there strong enough to step in and say, don't you think you've done enough damage to these people? You know, this is if this is what you did to one family, you know, how many other families have you destroyed in the process? There's nobody going to step in and ever say that, not in the United States. This country is the, like the lowest form of all lowest formed people ever fucking known on this planet, okay? I mean, you got to live here for a long time to realize we're dealing with the lowest form of all forms on the planet. So, you know, then I get thinking, well, that must have been Valerie's stipulation with everybody, right? So she programmed my kids all along because I had, like, major upsets with my kids. You know, you stop talking to your mother, and I'll help you out. You, you start talking to your mother, I'm going to make your life miserable. And, uh, you know, she probably, you know, made some arrangements with my family. Well, we can help you out here in Livingston County if you stop talking to your daughter, your sister, your blah, blah, blah. But the minute you talk to her again, you know, we're going to have to cut you off. Whatever. You know, you can't bring back the past. You can't relive special events, occasions, blah, 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 that you missed because some greedy, uh, insanely jealous, power-hungry, controlled, sick, twisted mind is at the helm of it all. You can't. And I just get to the point where I don't care anymore. Seriously, I don't. I'm never going to I'm never going to have go to a sit-down dinner with anybody in my family. <coughs> I'm never I'm never going to um you know, I've I haven't been invited to any holidays in so many years. I haven't been invited. I haven't even been able to participate in any birthdays of my own kids or my grandkids in so many years. I don't fucking care. Like if this is your if this is your major fucking goal in life is to crimp my every day, you're not making headway with me, okay? Yeah, 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 you you won. I don't have anything. After all those years of working, I don't have a fucking thing to show for it. But I'm not going to go back and try to rekindle relationships with my own family after all the fucking shit they put me through based on your commands. Not going to do it. I'm not going to go back and kindle any fucking relationships with my family. When they die, they can fucking die. And maybe their last thought will be, oh, we shouldn't have fucked Tammy over. <laughs> I don't fucking care. I seriously don't. I don't give a fuck if I ever see my family again. You know, this shit has been going on since I went in the military. 1985. I don't fucking care. I'm not going to have a relationship. I already have it in my head. I'm never going to have a relationship with my own children. I know my son's not dead. They probably made some arrangement with him that, you know, this is the only way that we can get you to stop talking to your mother is we have to fake your death. And so, you know, I don't talk to my other daughter. And, uh, because of them, you know, they orchestrated all that shit. And I don't have a relationship with my grandchildren because, well, they orchestrated all that shit too. So I don't fucking care. Like, I don't have that much time left on this planet and I really don't fucking care anymore. So, you know, whatever you guys do is, you know... If you think I'm jealous or you're doing something to hurt me, no, I don't fucking care. When you reach the point of you don't fucking care anymore, you don't fuck, you don't have feelings of any 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 of that shit. I don't fucking care. You know, 
and that whole fucking biblical referencing shit, I'll never forget. My sister Tony gave me that fucking plaque I used to hold on, have on my wall, the Ten Commandments. Honor thy mother first, and thy father second. And it just goes to show, religion is such a crock of shit. And I don't believe in God. And I'm glad I don't, because I realized something that I forgot a long time ago. God really is genocide. So, Valerie, you might you might think in your little head that you're fucking making some headway and winning. You know, because you've been trying to crunch my world for... And I never picked your son, okay? Wasn't even interested. He's the one that fucking stalked me, bitch, okay? Like, I would never, ever pick somebody of that low... I mean, he can't even spell there, there, and there, correct? Okay? All right? So, whatever. Go for it. Enjoy your life. I am not going to go back and try to mend any of this shit with you people. I mean, we're through. All the way. Through. Through. Through.